Hi guys, today we're going to go over the importance of lash diameters. So first off, we want to talk about how you measure your client's lashes. Depending on how long your client's lashes are, it's going to play a fact into how long their extensions can be. So we have two really cool tools that we like to use to measure it. Obviously, if you're an advanced artist, you will probably be able to tell just based off looking at their eyes since you have so much experience. But if you're a beginner artist or you're just still unsure and not confident in choosing lash lengths for your clients, then these are two really great tools. The first one that we're gonna use is an isolation tweezer. Both of our curved and our straight isolation tweezers will have this measuring ruler on the back. And this is used super easily. When you have a client's lashes look like this, you can go ahead and just put it right under the lashes like so. On this mannequin's eyes, the natural lashes are right around six to seven millimeters right there on the measuring. And so with a client that has that kind of a lash, you can use up to 10 to 11 millimeters max, right? So you wanna use three to four millimeters longer than their natural lashes as the longest length on them. Obviously you could use something shorter, but longest length we would say is maybe 11 millimeters on someone with lashes like this. So that's using our isolation tweezer, super easy. And then another tool that we have for you guys is this measuring ruler. This one is really easy as well. You just flip it upside down like this. You can enter it right into their lashes. And again, close to the lash line as you can without, without irritating or poking their eye too much. So here we would say, okay, yeah, so kind of same measurement as it was on the isolation ruler. We would land right around seven millimeters right there. So once again, like we mentioned, a client with this kind of lash would go up to 11 millimeters max. So our recommendation is not using anything more than four millimeters max, depending on their natural lashes. It also depends on how thick and healthy they are, but just for a baseline rule to follow, four millimeters max is a good long length when you are looking at their natural lashes. So this is how you measure it. Like we mentioned before, if you guys are you know, advanced artists or you guys take a lot of clients, eventually you're just gonna be able to tell based off of their natural lashes and how many you've seen. But really great tools to get you started if you aren't too confident about it yet. Next up, we're gonna talk about the different lash diameters and essentially how many lashes you can use with each one. So we're gonna talk about the different lash diameters now and how many lashes you can grab with each one, what kind of sets allow you to create with each diameter. So we will start with the thickest we personally offer and that was gonna be your 0.15 classic lash diameter. Personally for us, we feel like anything a little bit heavier than 0.15 is too heavy for the natural lash. So this is our maximum diameter that we like to use. When you are using a 0.15 diameter, you are doing one extension to one natural lash. So it really is just classic. You never wanna grab any more than that. So 0.15 equals classic sets. Now you have your volume lash diameters, which go from 0.03 to 0.07. We actually have some smaller ones now, which is new technology, but we will talk about that in a bit. For the baseline that any brand is going to have, it's going to be 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0 0.7. Let's start with our 0.7. So 0.7 is great for a natural volume lash set. This one, you can definitely grab more than one extension, but you don't want to grab too many. So we would recommend that with a 0 0.07 lash, you can grab three to five D fans. So maximum is five lashes in one fan, but you can use two, you can use three, you can use four. Just a maximum that you want to grab with this is 5D. And again, good for really natural volume sets. Next up, we have 0.05. This is really good for our volume lashes. So any type of volume set, not too, too full, but not too, too natural either. This diameter allows you to grab, we would say maximum 10D. So maybe using anywhere from seven to 10D would be a great range for this guy. And you can grab lower two, you can grab 2D, 3D, like we mentioned before, but maximum is 10D. And this will create really voluminous sets, but it won't be too, too full like our mega volume sets. Mega volume sets are gonna be the fluffiest, darkest, most fullest sets that we can do. So with that, we want a 0 0.03 lash minimum because we want to grab as many lashes as we can. With 0 0.03, we would say the max that you can grab is 15D. Again, depending on what you're creating, you could always use less, but the max that you want to grab is 15D fans. 
Okay, so while we're gonna place these lashes on our little carrot tile, because we wanna show you guys how it kind of looks right next to each other. So we already have a couple here, and that's just because those are the smaller diameters that we talked about earlier. We have new technology now that allows us to create a 0 0.02 and 0 0.01 lash diameter. So those are obviously gonna be your thinnest, thinnest mega volume lash diameters. When you're using something that thin, um, you could use for 0 0.02, we would say 18 to 20D would be totally fine. And then something with like a 0 0.01, it's so extremely lightweight, we would say you could even grab up to 25D. So those would obviously create the fluffiest, most dark, most volume-like sets. And here they are. So they're all kind of different curls and whatnot, so it might be a little bit different. We're not sure if you can see, but this right here up here is 0.15. When you brush through it, it's not going to be super fluffy. It's a little bit, maybe even hard a little bit so that you can't really fluff it through. As you go down a little bit, you're going to feel the lashes just getting softer, more fluffier. Even 0 0.07, it's soft for sure, but it's a little bit stiff. And then when you're going to go down to 0 0.05, it just gets softer and softer. You go down to your 0 0.03 and when you're brushing through, it almost doesn't even feel like anything. When you hit your 0 0.02 and 0 0.01, it's literally air-like and you're just really brushing so softly through it and fluffing them up just like that. So as you can see, different diameters have different purposes. You really want to make sure that you're using the correct diameters for what you want to create with your set. Um, anything that's going to be too heavy is obviously not healthy for the lashes. Anything too light even might not create the look and set that you want. So make sure you're using the correct diameter for whatever set you want to be creating. So one last thing, we kind of showed you guys it on the strip, but we want to show up close what 0 0.07, 0 0.05, and 0 0.03 fans look like. So remember, when you are using lower diameters that are more lightweight, you can grab more, and even though you're grabbing more, they're going to equal out the exact same weight as a single classic lash. So a single classic lash is literally just one lash like this, right? Just one thicker lash. And so because it's thicker, you really only want to be grabbing one. This is an example of a 0 0.07 lash fan. Not too many. We have 6D right here, which is a little over, but that's totally fine. Soft Silk is pretty lightweight, so this is a 6D fan with 0 0.07. Something like that is going to be the same weight as a 0 0.05 fan, which we can put right here. Maybe this is like 10D. So this is going to weigh the same thing as that 6D 0 0.07 fan even though it is 10D, and then that is going to all weigh the same as something like a 0 0.03 fan, which this is probably 15D, and again, that is going to weigh the same thing, as, or close to the same thing as a 0 0.05 10D and a 0 0.07 fan. So even though, you know, you're grabbing more as you're going down lower, they're all going to equal the same amount of weight at the end of the day, which, or they should. It's safe to grab more when you're using smaller diameters. So we hope this little visual helps, but yeah. We hope that helps you guys. Um, we know that uh, lash diameters can get super confusing, that measuring natural lash is a little bit confusing when you're first starting out too. So we hope that this helps you guys. If you guys have any questions or um, suggestions on videos, please go ahead and comment down below. Make sure to check out our blog post, which will have more information that goes along with the same topic. And yeah, let us know what else you wanna see and hear from us. Thank you so much for watching you guys and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.